Welcome everybody to a brand new Minecraft series. It's called Raycraft 3, The Prophecy. Because I like getting mad. This is a CTM map. Uh, a CTM map, if you guys don't know what it is, is Capture the Monument. Alright, so... Yeah, you can see how epic it already looks. And the whole point of this is to basically run through the world and get extremely mad at everything that's happening around you because you're using wooden swords and leather armor and you're getting attacked by hundreds of creepers and uh, zombies and skeletons and gas and everything you could ever imagine. And I thought, why not, man? Why not? Sounds like a good time. Uh, I've never done a CTM map before, so this will be a completely blind playthrough. I've never had uh, any experience. I think I've watched maybe three videos on it, and uh, it looked like a good time. So I just thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's try this. Let's go for the challenge and see what happens here. So let's see. The following tools were used in the creation of this map. MC Edit, World Edit, and BT Explorer. Special thanks to the creators of all these tools as well. In Hayes for his craft scripts and Seth Bling for his filters. I gotta pay my respects to everybody who does these things. Welcome to Ragecraft 3 The Prophecy version 1.2. Made by, uh, I hope I get this right, Heli CEO or be Heli CEO? I don't know. For version of Minecraft version 1.8.8. The newest one. Yes, look at this go. And a big thank you to my beta testers. You guys have done an awesome job. These guys are right here. I'm not going to read all their names. So if you want to see if you're on that list, hit the pause button. All right. Hey, Mr. Skelly. All right. So I wanted to do that. I didn't even see that until I saw the first sign that says read all the signs. Uh, so let's see if we can get this thing started. I plan on doing this, you know, once, maybe twice a week until we get it done. Please make sure to read all the following signs and books carefully. I promise it won't take long. Alright, so, um... Let's go. Rules? Rules. Never set your difficulty to peaceful. This can break the map. Alright, let's see here. Normal. Hard. Uh... Oh, okay, I don't want to, just in case some pansy wants to come by and play. Uh, let's adjust, everything seems to be good there, mobs, yeah, okay, cool, we're good, we're good. Alright, so this can break the map irreversibly. Ugh. Do not use cheats or mods that give you an unfair advantage. Uh, I do have inventory tweaks, and that just allows me to, uh, you know, not let things break, and allows me to organize my inventory. Uh, no villager trades involving emeralds. Make sure you abide by that. Do not go, or do not go to the Nether or use glitches to to move through bedrock. Okay, you may use Ender chests, but you are not allowed to build or place them. And do not break or mess with the monuments. Number seven. Aside from these exceptions, you may place, break, or craft anything you like. And do whatever it takes to survive. Yeah, it sounds like the start of an awesome movie. Objectives. You must complete the crystal monument placing the 16 crystals. Crystals are customized stained glass blocks found uh, in chests throughout the map. Do not craft your own crystals. Bonus objective. Try to place as many emerald blocks as possible on the bonus monument. You will receive a unique reward for each emerald you place. You may craft emerald blocks for the monument out of emeralds, just not through trades. Alright, so we got that. Yay, achievement get. Uh, we don't really need the rules. We'll keep the objectives. Nah, let's not. Let's get out of here. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. Yeah, we'll... Put that there. We activate death counter. Oh hell yeah! Chills deaths. Five hundred four. None. I don't have five hundred and four deaths. 
This map has been thoroughly tested by more than a dozen beta testers, and unfortunately Minecraft has a habit of causing random bugs and glitches. If you find any of those, please report them to me in the Minecraft forum. If you are an LP here, please link the original Ragecraft thread in your video description. It will be. It'll be right down there. Make sure you check it out. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Required settings. You must use or must use these settings for the map to work properly. GUI scale. Large or normal, not auto. Uh, what the hell is that? Normal. Uh -huh. Okay. Render distance. Eight or more. I got 16. I could go to 22 or 32. Let's do like 32. Let's do extreme. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, memory allocation, yeah, I got more than enough, I'm good. Difficulty, easy to hard, we're on hard. Version 1.8.8, .8. particles, all. Uh, do I have particles on? Eh. Animations, particles, all. Makes it really difficult to see, but whatever, that's okay. I'm not gonna cry too much. Recommended settings for balance and performance. 12 to 16, normal, fast, off. I'm sure I have clouds off because of my uh, texture pack. So let's see, video settings, uh, quality, clear water, fancy, done, performance, fast render, no, other, no, animations, no, details, sky, clouds off. Yeah, I think I'll leave that the way it is. Uh, render distance 12 to 16. I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe I should turn mine down a little bit. Let's do 20. All right, we're good. If it starts to screw st stuff up, then we'll, uh, we'll change it back. This map contains a lot of command block assisted mechanics, sub objectives and items with special abilities. Make sure to read all the books and signs that you find. Important information and hints are often hidden in lower text, but they are usually easy to figure out. Most text are short and concise. That's something, there must be something in that. It says hidden. Nope, it's good. All right, so we got flower pots. Give me that, I'm taking that with me. Multiplayer information. Mm, nope, I don't have any friends, so I'm not playing with you. Ah, ah, I got slowness. Ah, I hear creepers. Okay. Never trust a chest. That's a hint. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. At least it didn't blow up on me. Are you ready to start the map? If more players join the map later on, they have to press this button as well. All right. So I've got blindness. That's cool. Alright, well the first thing I see is that there's watermelon around here, so I think I'm going to grab as much of that as I can. After a long journey past the Great Sea, you finally return home. Looking around, you cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. The sky looks darker than usual. It does. And at this time of the day, there is no wind and no noises at all. No birds or critters. Because they don't have birds in Minecraft yet. Uh, and yet, you feel like something is watching you. Huh? Where? I don't see it. I feel it though, I feel it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some watermelon, and I'm gonna get some wood. Stupid birch. Oh yeah, Chills has got wood because he loves this game so much. Hey, wait, there's no tree attached to the top of this. All right, so we'll do the basics, like the whole getting started in Minecraft stuff. Uh, we'll just make all the planks. And we'll do that. Yep, give me that. And that. And we'll put that down, we'll do that. And we're gonna go like that. And... One, two. Give me that, and give me that, and what else? Give me that, oh yeah, all right. 
right, so we'll put that in there. We'll put that over there. We'll put it in a little tiny cup looking thing over there. And let's leave that there just in case. So we're gonna just use this. This is really weird looking wood. I'm gonna grab as much wood as I can. Uh, because I, I think, I can't remember, it was one of uh, Vex's maps that he did for like Minecraft 1.52 or something like that, or 1.1. And um, I mean, Vex is mean, all right? And he likes to be known as a mean guy. He, he's really not, but I mean, he likes to torture people with his maps. And he makes things obscenely difficult. And I know that um, his resources get scarce, like quite a bit. So the fact that I'm being given as much wood as I am this early on, I kind of just want to take advantage of it, and at least that way I'll have it. Now I'm not going to go around and grab like a full inventory of wood, I'm just going to grab uh, a bunch of stuff here. And uh, we'll have enough at least to make some wooden tools and stuff like that, and uh, possibly stack up and get su stuff and stuff like that. The other thing I want to do is uh, here we'll go over here we'll use a couple of our last little sticks here oh, crap I don't have any uh, planks left Give me that. put that there and I'm gonna make a shovel all right I want to see nope it's all clay all right I'm hoping that I'd be able to go down and uh... nope all sandstone which ain't that bad, but um, yeah, because we got the clay. I was hoping we'd be able to get some cobblestone, but apparently we can't right now. All right, so I got that. Now let's run around. We'll get the rest of these. I just want to grab as much of this stuff as we can. This first episode will probably make it a bit longer than the others. Um, the goal is to keep them around 20 minutes, but this one will probably be about 30. Just as uh, I do with all of my brand new series, I like to make the first one longer because uh, the first little bit's usually just this kind of crap. I mean, you're kind of running around, you don't get a lot of stuff done, and you know. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, I can take glowstone because I don't have any torches yet. And the guy did say I can do whatever I want. So as long as I'm not uh, crafting emeralds from uh, those villagers and stuff like that. So. Oh my god, where'd you come from? It scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah. Oh, we have an uh, actual axe and sword and. Ow! Now, what I didn't notice. Okay, regen is on, so that's one thing. So that's gonna make it a little bit easier. I wasn't expecting, this looked like it was like a nice little peaceful area. I didn't expect anything to come out and get me. Jeez, give me a break. All right, so we got that. Let's go take a peek. I gotta remember not to just run everywhere. I don't think we're gonna be coming back this way, so. Oh crap, no. Uh, cut the grass, cut the grass. I could have swore I just saw another guy over there. Were there any more watermelons over here? Just before we go too far. Let's make sure we haven't forgotten anything here. No, nope, there's a skelly over there. Doesn't appear to be, but another skelly over there. You never know what's going to be hidden around these places either. They always like to stick things off in the areas where you don't think you should go, but you do anyways. And All right, I think the axe is better. Yeah, definitely faster. All right, so that's my efficiency axe. You saw how it popped out with this one here. Uh, that's what inventory tweaks does for me. So it takes away the one that was almost broken. See, it's a four out of 59 and it puts the other one in its place. When this one breaks, it will uh, replace it with the other one. All right, so we have beds, special items. I don't know, man. I'm gonna blow up. All right, frost trap. 
Uh, trap is placed where the potion hits the ground. This trap is destroyed one, when one minute has passed or when a new trap of the same type has been placed. This potion has infinite uses and not consumed when thrown. Holy crap. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna take that. Alright, so these... I don't trust, so we'll move that somewhere else. Alright, we're not doing bad on that. Now, I don't think sleeping is actually going to do anything, to be honest with you, because uh, it seems like it's permanently night, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I just wanted to move the bed somewhere else, because, uh... Alright, what's happening? Is it daytime? Ooh, cake! Oh. Nope. Oh. And I don't have my spawn, so... Can you just sleep every time? Yeah, it's constant night. Okay, so we learned something. It's always night. So that is a good thing. And I honestly don't want to set my spawn here. Because obviously I'm going to be leaving. No, that's, that's bad. But this looks like it could be good. Let's go take a peek up here. Hopefully I don't get shot at while I'm up here. I want to see if there's uh, something up here. And the other thing that was good about it being permanent night is wherever I go, if I find like a little safe haven, I can put my bed down and I can sleep and it will automatically set my spawn no matter what time of the game. So that's good. Um, at least that way if there's a difficult spot after I set my spawn, I don't have to always run all the way back. Alright, anything good up here? Any little tricks? And see, I, this is one of my problems, is I'm a very analytical thinker. So I'm always thinking that there would be tricks and stuff that would be going on. And it's not always the case. So, sometimes it gets me in trouble. Other times it's like, oh yeah, way to go chills. You're thinking with your noggin there. Alright, so let's hopefully see if that witch is gone. Oh, it's still there. Where you go away? There, you saw that? The pickaxe broke and gave me this one. Yeah, that's right, you run. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Alright, uh oh, what does this say? White crystal. Airy area. Valley of the blood. Nine emeralds are here. So, this is your main objective. And this is the uh, side objective. Oh, crap. Oh, Run, run, run. Okay, we're safe. Looks like there's no freaking doorway. Oh yeah. Um, here, let's uh, let's go up here for a sec. I hear you, Enderman. Uh, I want to read this book because it says we're supposed to read all the books. There are dozens of items with special abilities in this map. Having too many of those items with you. Items with you can ca sometimes cause some FPS issues, not, not a big deal. Which is something you should keep in mind for the rest of the map. The traps in this chest have an infinite amount of uses, even though it looks like there, are only one, there is only one potion per stack. So don't be afraid to use them as often as you like. Don't throw multiple in those, uh, of those in very quick succession, or they might disappear. It's a known unfixable bug. Alright, so if we want to just chuck that at whoever or whatever we want. Oh, I don't know what that does, but cool. So if I throw that out there, yeah, that'll uh, block anything from coming in and bugging me. So we have Dalaran's Journal. Uh, let's put that one back, put that away. Uh, Light gray wool we don't need. I hear footsteps. Removes one level or level one poison, weakness and slowness. Alright. So again, I can see that we're going to be getting into... Uh, oh, crap. What the hell was that? You're kidding me. Oh, so it spaced them apart, and you bugger. Ooh, 
gives me poison and then regenerates me. Nice. Alright. So that's the thing. Okay, let's read this book. When I looked out the window today, I knew what was happening. Our ancestors called it the Great Darkness. All of this has happened before, countless centuries ago. The skies are dark and grim, as if the light had disappeared from the world. Back then, our ancestors built a monument out of powerful arcane crystals that brought the light back to the world. Over the centuries, looters have disassembled the monument and sold the precious, shiny, precious, shiny, shiny crystals all over the continent. I have read prophecies of a young adventurer who will restore the monument and banish the great darkness from the world once again. But who will it be? Who will take on this monumental task? <laughs> Play on words. Travel to the most dangerous regions of the world and fight the most horrifying monsters on their search for the lost crystals. I cannot imagine a warrior brave enough, strong enough to take on this burden. As for me, I will travel to the Temple of Light to heat Help the paladins fight off the darkness for as long as possible. I'm afraid the valley has already been corrupted. Some of the townspeople have changed. Their eyes are white and full of madness. It is not safe here anymore. Ooh, scary. Alright, I'll put that in there. And let's just grab these because uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm taking your books. All of them. Because, I mean, you never know. We might get to a point where we can enchant things. And, well, I want to be able to make stuff. I'm scared. Alright. I take you two. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. We will... Uh, I kind of want to keep the blocks. We'll get rid of this stupid sign. Uh, I got my testuses. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the slabs. Alright, so we got stuff that we can do. Bookshelves. Shelves. Almost looks like there would have been something behind here, but... I guess I was mistaken. How many books? 51? Cool. We got enough for the 15 bookshelves if we ever need them. Here's some beers. Hello? Hello? Okay. Need some cake. More books. Bone meal. Fishy. Raw fish. Another sword. Ooh, leather pants. And a magic hat. Alright. I got too much crap already. Uh, where'd my pants go? Take the pants. And. There we go. Give me my hat. Oh yeah, look how smooth that looks. Fits nicely with my, <laughs> my outfit there. Alright, so we came all the way up here just for some pants and such. I hear zombies, but I don't know where they are. Must be chilling out outside somewhere. Alright, so we got all the goodies. Um, we can't eat any more cake, so down we go. So there's another thing over here. I mean, this is just like a library where like you have stuff you can get and such and whatnot. All right, so I think that's it. There's nothing else there. All right, so this looks like the way we're supposed to go. I heard you. Ah! I saw you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever with this stupid wooden sword. Eh. Alright. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I see you. 
I don't know what you got, but you got, like, Swirlies coming after you, dude. So you want to fight the spiders because you want to be able to get a bow, too. Um, okay, let's turn that into the bow meal. Don't need spider eye. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, well, we'll keep the stick until we uh, get to a point where we have to throw something out. Got another spider, creeper, skeleton. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, shoot. You're kidding me. Run. Okay. Stupid things. Oh, man. It's gonna break more. I knew it. <laughs> no. This is horrible. It's just gonna keep bringing more and more. Alright, if I run away, they should go into a block. I'm just gonna go around them. Oh, how the hell did he get me when I wasn't even, like, I was up in the air? Whoa, oh. Okay, so these guys are still there. <laughs> Look at that. That sucks. And they're doing a really good chunk of damage to me. Okay. Frozen trap. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Here, you come over here too. Blows him down. Nice. Okay. So that's the thing. At least now we know how that works. Alright. Let's go back and see if we can take on that skelly over here and this stupid creeper. No, 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 no. You watch your mouth. I should be the one saying that. Look at all the bloody creepers here. That's, oh my god, where did he come from? <laughs> First death. Oh, and at the right time, too, 27 minutes into the episode. Alright, so that's the end of the first one. So this is definitely going to be a challenge. I don't know so much about the rage part, but um, yeah, i got to go back and collect my stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'll go off camera and go grab my stuff, and we'll just kind of chill out in the house until, uh, uh, yeah until we get somewhere for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this is going to be quite a bit of fun. I, I already love it. I'm enjoying it. One death and it took 30 minutes to get there. Under 30 minutes. Awesome. All right, guys. So I will see you in the next one. Take care. Ow.